Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today I'm gonna do a real life tutorial of a real building. It will be a ref foundation on Plexus. But before I start, if you're new to my YouTube channel, subscribe and like the videos. It will be a great help. So today I'm gonna show you a real life example of a ref foundation of a building. It will be an easy tutorial in order you in order for you to follow. But you can make any shape and any structure you wish or you want in plexus so let's start first of all we're gonna create a borehole we're gonna add a material say that the bottom is minus 15 minus 20 here we're gonna add a material so we're gonna name the material clay drained seventeen and eighteen here we should change the modulus which is one thousand here it's zero point three Here it's ten thirty and zero. So uh, for this parameters here you can put any parameters you want or the real parameters that you will get from the geotechnical report of the soil of the building that you're uh, uh, you're studying. So I'm gonna set the head to minus fifteen. I'm gonna say that there's no water. In the soil here. I'm gonna go to structure and I'm gonna draw first of all my foundation. So this building consists of one basement and the, the, the bottom of the basement is formed from a raft. So I'm gonna put four points here. First X, say it's 10. Then zero. It's then twenty. Then zero. It's then twenty. It's twenty and twenty. Zero. So, so there's here there's cross lines. We're gonna change them. So here we're gonna put it's 20, 20, 0, and it's 10, 20, 0. So it's okay. We have press okay. So this is our foundation. Now we're gonna go and change the project properties. We're gonna set the model to 30 and 30. Where now we have the raft in the middle. So now we've created a plate and then we're gonna create our raft. We're gonna extrude the raft to minus 3. We're gonna say that uh, the building is uh, the underground of the building is minus 3 meters. It's 3 meter high. The basement of the building. We're gonna say apply and then. We're gonna decompose into surfaces. First of all, I'm gonna delete the surface. I'm gonna decompose into surfaces. I will delete the first one, and I will get this shape here. So I'm gonna select them all and create plate. So here you can see now we can assign a material. We're gonna go to the material section. I'm gonna choose plates. I'm gonna create a new plate. So the first one is the basement floor. Basement floor. 
you're gonna see that it consists of a raft of 0 0.5 meter in thickness it's 15 kilonewton or we're gonna we've chose here 15 because we've uh, the concrete is 24 and we've reduced the soil value of the plate here which we obtain a 15 kilonewton per uh, square uh, per cubic meter so i've put these value here you can use any value you want for uh, for the wall or for the floor i'm going to create now a basement wall and change the color to red choose here 0 0.3 15.5 3 times 10 7 0 0.15 I'm gonna press an okay and now we've gonna assign the material for these bars here set material basement floor I'm gonna select press on control and select all these plates and you're gonna give them basement tool so now we have the basement And then we're gonna create we're gonna create a uh, a column. The column will be at fifteen, fifteen, zero and fifteen, fifteen minus three. This is our column. We're gonna create here material also. It will be for beam. We're gonna name it C for column. And choose here seven. Here it's twenty-four. The section gonna be. 0 0.4 here you're gonna be 0 0.2 it's 0 0.02 so you can calculate them with the inertia formula also Press on OK. We're gonna assign for create beam, and we're gonna assign for this beam set material column. So now we've drawn all our basement. It consists of the walls and a column in the middle. So for you, you can draw your uh, your basement with any shape you want. It can be a triangular shape or uh, any shape. So now we're gonna assign the loads. We create a point load here at the column. And we're gonna create a surface load here. So generally we will create also a line load here. It depends on the shape of the building, but today I'm not gonna create it. So here I'm gonna create we're gonna create a positive interface positive interface so if you if you don't know what a positive or a negative or even an interface do uh, I've made several videos on this topic you can see them on other videos that I've already made I'm gonna generate 
the mesh for the calculation now we can see here the mesh generated take a little bit of time this is it this is the mesh for the flow condition we're gonna leave them as they are here then we're gonna go to the calculation point it's the initial phase we're gonna add one we're gonna name it gonna first of all change the name and say excavation I'm gonna add another phase it will be wall basement construction let's say wall and basement construction then we're gonna add the load loads so let's start by the excavation for the excavation we're gonna deactivate here this here so we're gonna deactivate it so now we can see phase one this is phase two this is phase three we're gonna activate the beams the plates and the interfaces here we have our basement and for phase 3 we're gonna activate the surface loads and the point loads here and we're gonna assign a value for our point load and also for our uh, for the other loads for the point load we're gonna say it's uh, One thousand five hundred kilonewton. It's minus one thousand five hundred. And for this, gonna double check. I didn't took the value. We're gonna go to surface load, and we're gonna say it's uh, minus six kilonewton. So now we can launch the calculation. So there's a problem with the plates we've created. We're gonna check the plates here. see what plate so we didn't assign the material for the walls set material basement pool so it's done now we're gonna launch the calculation again Okay, so there's a problem. This plate here. Gonna set the material, basement floor. And now, I think we'll have no error. So the error are gone. It's odd, I don't know why they've disappeared. I already assigned a material for them. So I'm going to pause the video in order to finish the calculation.
so the calculation are finished now we're gonna go to the output so I didn't configure my license yet I'll configure it later and first of all when you go to the output the first thing you want to check is the deformation the form mesh is the most important one in order for you to see what's happening in your model so apparently there's something wrong with the loads it's minus six it's minus 1550 okay so i'm gonna go to the output again And I'm gonna create a section. I'm gonna go to uh, viewpoint, top view. I'm gonna create a section here. I'm gonna say it's one fifteen, and it's two fifteen. We've obtained our section. So we're going to rotate it here. Total displacement. So there's a problem here, we can see it, that the displacement is upward. So the problem is that the surface load, I don't know why, Plexus took it uh, in a positive, uh, positive direction. So I'm gonna try it now again and we're gonna see what will happen. So here I've got an error with my Plexus model. There's something wrong with Plexus. I will reinstall it and see the the output but it's the same as the other tutorial so this is how you draw a basement and plexus a foundation so thanks for watching if you have any question please leave them in the comment section